Okay, so we're working on the Jeep today. Specifically, I'm going to swap the voltage regulator on my from my old alternator onto the new one. Uh, this alternator wasn't charging anymore. It would charge when the engine was idling, but as soon as you gave it some RPM, it would stop charging. Uh, so I bought a new replacement one and put it in, and it charges. However, the battery light is on, and when you look at the codes, it says unable to communicate with generator. And even though I compared the two units before I swapped the new one in, I failed to realize that in the plug there are two pins on the new alternator and only one pin on this old one. So I'm going to swap the regulator over so that it's one pin and see if that fixes my issues. It's easier to just swap the regulator from the back of the alternator on these diesels than to take the whole alternator out. So I'm going to try that first. So first I'm going to take this plastic cover off and to do that I'm going to undo these two nuts, 8 millimeters. Obviously this alternator is disconnected so the signal wire, signal plug is disconnected and the power wire is disconnected as well. With the two nuts off you should be able to just lift this plastic up. Uh, it does sit on two pins so you might need to pry it up but you see that it's loose. I'm going to use two flathead screwdrivers and just pry this off. With the plastic cover taken off we can see the voltage regulator here. Uh, these are the contacts that contact the shaft. There's regulator and there's the plug with one pin in it. So I'm going to take this out and inspect it. The voltage regulator is held on by these three, these two bolts and this stud. They're all seven millimeters. And here's the voltage regulator taken off. It's got the two contacts there with this cover on them. You can slide this cover off to inspect them. And then when you install this on the new alternator, you'll slide that cover off so that you can push the contacts in. So in order to get access to this alternator, I took the skid plate off from the bottom of the car. And then I'm going to take the air box out. I'm going to take the air box out so I can access the 13 mil nut on top of the alternator for the charging wire. With our air box removed, we can now see the alternator and more specifically the nut that holds the charging cable on. So that I believe is a 13 mil. You have to take that off, disconnect the signal plug, and then the plastic cover on the new alternator can come off. There's the cover to the alternator. There's the alternator installed in the car. And there's the voltage regulator that I'll be swapping. I'll quickly take that off and I'll show you guys a comparison between the old and new. So I got both voltage regulators out. That's the old one and that's the new one. As you can see, they're basically identical. One, two, three, one, two, three. All the bolt holes are in the same location. The brushes, contacts are in the same orientation. The difference being is that this new one has two pins in there and the old one has a single pin. One, two. My only concern with this whole swap is that if these contacts aren't worn in the same um, and they don't make a good contact on the shaft of the alternator. I'm no mechanic, I'm just trying things out. So I guess we'll give her a shot, see what happens. Got the regulator back on and just thought I'd show you guys. This is the plug that goes to the regulator. Just one wire, one pin in there. 
I have grease in there so it doesn't corrode. And that's why I'm doing this whole deal. Okay, all finished. Airbox put back in. Batteries connected. Now time to fire it up and see if the battery light's still on. It's been about a month and a half since I last fired up the Jeep. It's just been sitting since then. In park. No battery light. Excellent. So that's that problem fixed. Now I just need to resolve my wheel speed sensor issue that's causing the stability control, ABS, traction control, and service four-wheel drive lights and messages to turn on. One thing at a time. And one last reminder. Don't forget to put this cover back on your brushes after you've installed the regulator. I forgot to do that and I just had to take everything apart again. Ah, it is what it is. Okay, 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 I got the regulator back on.